Oftentimes it's none of them. That was because I my timer discipline is not very good. This time it's on. No, we don't want that. We want I swear this is driving me crazy. There's not much train stuff around here. Although I want to build something with the boxcars later. See, I can place if I can place this here. It'll lock on. And it's partly in the ground too. See? You know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. What if I were to... No, that doesn't work. Damn. How does that work if that other doesn't work? See, the other didn't even have a, a section in this. It was an angled piece. I don't like the little squares. This is our market area. What I can do is this. Um, no, I can't. What? What's going on with this game? Some, if look, that goes there, that goes there perfectly fine. Not even a complaint. I don't want to go too far out this way. I don't even think I need stairs there. I think these won't go in there. Oh, it will go in there. I did not expect these to actually lock on. These cost steel, though. Ah, oh, don't do this to me now. Get in. Floor. Get in. Floor. Floor. Ground. Go. Damn it. There's no half foundations, and I was hoping to use these to cover up the weird gap there. Going to have to find another floor that doesn't look like poop. Really didn't want to use 10,000 of these, though. Because these are pure steel. That looks good. And it covers up that gap, I guess. I guess. It's not what I wanted, but I guess. <laughs> Damn it. <coughs> so whiny. First world game problems. Bethesda, fix your game! I can hear the dog panting in, in my ear. 
Help the Vin Somerville place. I swear if that fails, I am going to go over there and put 2,000 guns around you. And if they accidentally shoot you, so what? These. I like these, but they don't. I don't like them on the grounds because they would rot. Then again, the steel would rot too. I just don't like the fact that this takes up so much room. In here, no one's really going to see it that often. I need you to go away somewhere. Because I need a door right around here, actually. This would be better for a door. And now it's going to clip onto 10,000 locations. Put that one right back where it was, because I'm crazy. I wonder, will you will you go in? No? You? No? You? Nope. Nope. That one will go in. And that one will go in. And that one will go in. And then that's the end of it. Why that one won't go in, I have no idea. That one goes in, but that one doesn't. But you know what? That's the end of the line. End of the line, see? Let me bring you over to here. And put you there. This is why it takes me so long to build something. Because I want it perfect. Let's place this here to cover up some of the cruddy ground stuff. our dumpster. What else can go here? There's all that raider garbage. Oh, I could put one of these here. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Why is the distance getting so dark? Oh, it's getting to be night. Damn. Uh, take this one away. Concrete wall, concrete wall. Sometimes sucks. Major ball. Is that pole going to be outside or inside? Little of each. Little of each. Now, should I incorporate this into my wall design? I'm going to guess that this won't fit. No, it does not even come close to fitting. Like, I have to put it a quarter mile behind it. What if I did it from this angle? 
Seems like it's even worse. Should I waste the wood and steel just to see how bad that is? Yeah, let's see how bad that is. What is with the collision boxes of these junk fences? One tick forward, and how is that colliding with that? How is it need a gap that you can walk through? This is another reason for force placement, because this should be right against that, or even clipping into that. What if I do this, where I can't see either pillar? Nope. Well, if I do it from this side? Nope, it doesn't even want to move. That is always ridiculous. I mean, does it want me to what does it want me to put two of these? Wait. Can this go into the wall? No. So again, what does it want me to do? Put two of these? I don't even think two of these would actually fit. And it's not exactly the most secure gate in the world. Impenetrable concrete fortress wall. Tiny little gate. Well, of course, this one's kind of getting short. Now, if I measured correctly, this should go... No? Why not? Do I need a half a wall segment? You're touching that exactly. It's actually clipping quite far into that. I'm just going to measure out... Yeah. Needs to go further. How much further, I'm not 100% certain. That's probably the maximum that I'm going to get out of it, because these tires are annoying little crap heads. Now, unlike this side, this wall is going to be mostly underground, so no windows. Did I do lines on that side? No, I haven't done lines on the outside of any of these, so there's not going to be lines if I can avoid it. Of course, that telephone pole is going to be an issue. Nope. It's not as much of an issue as I thought. How do I make this a fraction taller? That's one thing I haven't figured out yet, is how to raise things up by small increments. Because if I keep going like this, and I'm going to need these concrete walls anyway, so I'm going to lay it out. As you can see, get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. Oh, I have a odd hunch that this might actually... Oh, that is so close that I absolutely have to use that now.
if this could just move over half a block. That would be perfect. Of course, that's impossible. This is a little bit short for my liking. I don't think anything can jump over it, but... Like, there's going to be no floor in here. Because there's just going to be no way to attach a floor, so... It's going to be solid concrete. Uh, connect. Connect, please. Connect that way, please. Not every other way possible. You know, if that car reappears in its location, it's going to be flipping out again anyway. That is so close. I wish that was just a fraction that way. Like, just... It's not going to let me do it because it's locked on too tightly. Damn. That is just almost exactly perfect. But it isn't. That works. Yeah, you can jump in from outside right there. I don't like that. Not one bit. Let me place a concrete wall. Better from the outside. There. There. The settlement has a very large size bar, and I just realized that because the fact that it's not even halfway. See, now, moving it over a fraction really doesn't help me much. This is whole wall segments all the way down, isn't it? Yeah. If it was moved over two dots, then that wall would line up with here. The problem is it's really hard to move over two dots because that's half of a half wall. It's like, I'd have to put that there. Just to illustrate the difference. That there. And that there. And that would lock onto there. And would line up perfectly with this wall. Then this would have to adjust. means it would have to be this, this, and this again. I might still have that little gap, which I could more easily tuck away like that. And it's slightly harder to jump there. Not that the enemies jump to get into your settlement. I have never seen an enemy jump to get in. But the reason I did that, and I'm going to open that just for ease of passing through, is because... And this... 
It's over a little bit, I guess. No, it's not over a little bit because I haven't moved this yet. What am I doing? What am I thinking? Uh, the whole sky just jumped. That really kind of threw me off a little bit. Let's see. Does this work? You're lined up. You're lined up with the edge of that. This curved segment should line up with the edge of that. Like the other angled wall, you're going to get a little bit off, it looks like. But I'm guessing there's no adjusting for that. But that ends up perfectly flush with that. So like the angled wall, you're going to be slightly off compared to this. That's why I didn't do it here, because that's how that would look. But then again, it's slightly in with this. But we're working with video game physics here, so... I'm limited to what the game will do. <laughs> what did that just say? Did it... I have no idea what that just said. Either it failed or succeeded, I'm not sure. It failed or successed. If it successed, good. If it failed, screw them. You notice these are slightly off, too. Aw. Oh, um. You're not. You are. Because the curvature of that curved segment actually clips inside of the wall. This little lip that forms around here is normally inside the concrete and disappears. So that's why you don't notice it when it's done the way the game wants you to do it. Wow, I was able to glitch my way up here. Oh, I use these because I've been using these the whole time, but the floor. You're just going to see dirt through the floor. I didn't want to use these because you're just going to see dirt through the floor. Uh, that means... Because I'm up here, I have to do it this way. You're not supposed to be using that area. Don't, no, no. Don't go that way. You terrible caravaneer. Now this part, I have no idea what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to scrap that. This wall here. As you can see, I haven't finished over there. Because I moved to the front because I got tired of that. Like, yeah, you're being a pain in the butt. I guess that fence would fit now. Wrong fence. It would kind of fit in now since the wall is so damn short here. Except it wouldn't fit in because it doesn't fit. Why are you stinking prick? Nothing. Nothing fits between these two posts. What is meant to go between these two posts?
Yeah, nothing fits between the two posts. Could it be a barn door? That's a barn. <laughs> it is weird how that barn just attached itself there. It is very odd that that is attaching like that. And it makes me suspect that these pillars are meant to put something on top of. That was weird. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you? No. Well, this is just something I'm gonna have to figure out off figure out of the words. What are they? Figure out off camera. Nuts. Or off recording. <laughs> 